Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So did you like the new intro logo animation? It was made by my fan Brian. He has a YouTube channel called Steam Deck Designs and I'll link it in the description. You can go over there and give him some support. And yeah, I would like to say thank you, Brian, for making that wonderful logo animation. It's a way better job than what I did. So yeah, I might be using it going forward. Big shout out to you. Thank you very much. And yeah, without further ado, today I'm going to talk about Alan Wake 2 and how to install this free mod that gives you a big performance boost on your Steam Deck Steam OS. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to boot into the game. So the mod I'm going to be using is called DLSS Enabler and it enables you to activate DLSS frame generation when normally you can't on the Steam Deck because you're using an AMD GPU. And with this toggled on, you actually get a big performance boost. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm loading into the game. I'm at, at the starting area. Okay, um, and yeah, if you're playing this game on the Steam Deck and you have missing textures, I actually have a video showing you how to fix that. Okay, so what I mean by missing textures, if you're starting off here and you notice that um, the, the your jacket, so the FBI, it it's missing. You don't have the FBI logo. Then that means you've got missing textures. And, you know, the, the faces look like clay. Yeah, that means you've got missing textures. All right. So this is the starting area. And I'll show you my settings. So graphics, full screen, 720p. Uh, I'm using FSR 2. This is the native one. Okay. And it's on balanced. Okay, and then the quality preset, I set it to low, and then I change the post-processing quality to high and the texture resolution to high. That's all I changed. Memorizing. And you can see, you get like low 20s. Like you get low 20s. It, it doesn't run well on your Steam Deck. But since I've already got the mod installed, I'll show you how to do that later in the video, I've already got it installed. I can actually go and toggle on DLSS. And then here, DLSS frame generation, I'm going to toggle this on. And render resolution, I'm going to keep it balanced. And if you go back here, you can see, instantly we're getting a performance boost. I should take a look at that map. Are we getting like low 40s? So yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, there is a little bit of ghosting. A little bit if you turn if you spin the camera around you do get like I think I hear someone. a little bit of ghosting if you spin it really fast the camera but if you just play normally like if you don't spin too crazy if you just don't go around in circles and circles it's okay it's not too bad a little small price to pay for the performance boost So before I would say it's really not really that playable because you know you're getting like 20 frames. Not not that good. But now it's pretty good. And it's a free mod. So yeah, why wouldn't you do it? If you own the Steam Deck and you play this game on the Steam Deck, definitely try this. And make sure some people say you've got like input lag. So I don't feel input lag. I think it's because if you go to um, press the three dot button and if you limit the frame rate, so I disable frame limit. Okay. But if you limit it to like 30 FPS, now I can see like there's, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of input lag. So if you're experiencing input lag after installing this mod, make sure you disable the frame limit. And it just feels responsive. Like like this, it's really, really what responsive. Can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell about the heart. I was getting to that, Morton. So you can get a little bit like more FPS if you like go below, like maybe performance. Uh the graphics does take a little bit of hit here. A little bit. Not too much. So maybe balance or performance, I would recommend. I'd recommend like these two settings. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So yeah, I'll I'll take you to my desktop mode and I'll show you how this is all done. So I'll see you back in desktop mode. 
Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. For me, my game is right here in games, Alan Wake 2 Night Springs. It might be different for you if it's a Steam version. It's normally located in your common folder, but for me, it's right here. And yeah, just the root of the directory. We're going to install the mod files. So get your game folder ready. And the second thing you need to do is download the mod. So the mod is right here. I'll link it in the description. It's uh, at Nexus Mods and it's called DLSS Enabler. All right, it's a free mod. So once you're here, go to Files and then get the latest version. So Manual Download. Make sure you're already logged into Nexus Mods because you need to be logged in to download these files. And then here it says something about the reg files. Don't worry about that. I'll talk about it later. Just click Download and then um, Slow Download if you are a free user like I am. All right, I already have the file, so I'm not gonna download it again. My file is right here in my downloads folder. This one, it's an exe file. So if you're like worried it's it's a virus or anything like that, it could be, um, do this at your own risk. So I've already downloaded it for you so I can show you. Um, it's an exe file, I've got it right here. And one more thing I wanna talk about is um, there's that texture fix. So I was talking about uh, before, in gaming mode that if you have some missing textures this could be your fix so go to this page i'll link it it's called mesa git okay download this one gigabyte mesa.7z zip file all right and then unzip that you need to unzip it to your home directory so in your home directory i've got this mesa folder i unzipped it over here so make sure you do that okay and now since I've got the exe file, you need to install it with Proton Tricks. So if you don't have Proton Tricks, go over to your Discover Software Center and type Proton Tricks. And you should see this red wine glass icon, this app. Make sure you install it. And make sure you've like played the game at least once. So it has generated the prefix folder. That's how Proton Tricks can know that you've got the game here. So I've got mine right here, non-steam shortcut, Alan Wake 2. So if you have a Steam game, it wouldn't say non-Steam shortcut. Okay, so I've got it here. Double click on it. Okay, and we're going to be installing the, the mod files. So just wait for Proton Tricks to load up. Okay, first thing you need to do is select the default wine prefix. Okay, and then here, run uninstaller. Click okay. And then here, we're going to click install. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I have the mod installer. So it's an exe file. Double click on it. Okay. And then I'm going to accept the agreement. Next. Next. And then here I'm, it shows, it tells you you need to like where you want to install the mod files. So I would actually want to install it in my downloads folder and I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to create a new folder called DLSS enabler. Okay, so it's just a blank folder. Nothing's in it right now. Okay, and then I'm just going to install all my mod files here. So it's easier for me to reference. So I need to locate this folder. It's in my Z drive. So Z drive is where my um, Steam Deck internal SSD is. So I go to home, deck, oops, um, deck, okay, downloads, and here, DLSS enabler. So I'll click OK. So make sure you've got the right Location, so Z drive, home, deck, downloads, DLSS enabler. Okay, that's fine for me. Next, then I'm gonna select install DLSS enabler, the version.dll file. And then I'm also gonna check this, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs because I'm installing this on my Steam Deck and it's using an AMD GPU. So I need to check this. Click next, install. And you see that the files just populated. That's fine. I don't need to read the readme. So uncheck this, finish. Okay. And then here, I'm going to select all these files. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it into my game folder. So Alan Wake 2 Night Springs. I'm just going to paste it here. I've already done this before. So I need to overwrite. Okay. For you, it might be a brand new install. Like brand new copying over the files. So I've got all my files right here. That's good. And then inside here, there's a file called um, this one, disable NVIDIA signature checks. I'm going to move, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it onto my desktop. 
because I need it. Okay, so I'm just going to paste. I already have it, but I'm just going to show you. I'm going to overwrite. So just paste it over to your desktop because I need to access this later. Okay. Now, if you haven't closed your Proton Tricks, that's good. If you've closed it, don't worry. Just open it up again and select your game, Alan Wake 2. So I haven't closed mine, so I'm just going to cancel out here. And then I'm here. I'm going to run Reg Edit. Okay. And I'm going to do that reg file thing that the Nexus mod was telling me to do before. So just go here, registry, input registry file. Yeah, and then select your desktop. So yeah, that's why I copied over the folder because it's easier for me to reference. So here, disable NVIDIA signature checks.reg. Double click it. And you should get this. The keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah were successfully added to the registry. So once you see this, click OK. And then exit out of it and then we just quit proton tricks now just quit it cancel cancel and we're basically done and finally just go over to your steam go to library select your game okay let me minimize this a little bit oops It's easier for you to see and then click on the gear icon properties and make sure you have this launch options okay so this, the first part the first part over here this part this is the fix for the textures so this locates back to home deck mesa you know when i told you to extract that folder the mesa folder this first part of the launch option is to help you fix the textures and this second part wine dll overrides version this like kickstarts the the mod the dlss enabler mod okay so i'll, I'll link this i'll actually copy this code this command into the description so you can just copy and paste it make sure you have it in your launch options and then you can test your game so now let's test our game in desktop mode it works the same in gaming mode i think i've just shown you that okay so i've got this message uh because i didn't set my um vram like i've only got 11.5 gigabytes of physical memory but that's okay it still runs through and then it says this hard drive thing okay just just ignore it click okay the game still runs and yeah we should be able to enable dlss so let's go to options graphics yeah you can see dlss is here and I can toggle on DLSS frame generation. So yeah, the mod definitely works. It's free. Go get it. Uh, if you're playing Alan Wake 2 on your Steam Deck, you definitely need that extra performance boost. So let me know in the comment section if you have any problems, if you have any issues. It should be pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, if you do face any problems, let me know. Maybe you want to be a little bit more specific on what step you're on, what you did um yeah i'm on the steam os version 3.5.19 that's the stable release and i've got cry utilities on recommended settings um four gigabytes of vram all right uh yeah um so let me know any details and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one